we knew what we were getting into and the airplane did exactly what it was supposed to be doing and our training kicked in and did exactly what it was supposed to be doing. This is the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum's Udvar Hazy Center. Today we're very excited. We're bringing in an F-15 Sea Eagle. This is one of the most iconic air-to-air -air fighters that America has produced in the post-Vietnam period. The aircraft that's coming in today was flown by Captain Cesar Rico Rodriguez in the 1991 Gulf War. And in this airplane, he shot down two enemy MiG fighters. That airplane's been to combat. That airplane has experienced some significant uh, emergencies throughout its career. That airplane has been flown by phenomenal airmen around the world. There's nothing you can't do with that airplane. Today was an extremely emotional event for Rico and I. To be able to know the man that we've all read about, that we've all seen, that we have all spoken to throughout our careers, to be able to return this airplane to him in its final resting place, it's extremely humbling. Well, my family and I spent, you know, the biggest part of our lives being around the F-15 and the F-15 community. And I think having one here in the museum will be a fitting tribute to all those people that flew them and fixed them and everybody that made it last as the world's greatest air superiority fighter for 30 plus years. The real truth is that airplane coming here is not about me. It's about the fingerprints of the hundreds of thousands of airmen, uh, community partners, family members, all of them. This airplane's here to say thank you, but also to acknowledge that organizations like Boeing and Raytheon and Northrop Grumman came together. They listened to the Air Force. They heard what they wanted in the form of a new jet, the F-15C and they delivered.